Welcome back to First at Four Continues. We're looking at a beautiful look over the 13th Street Bridge, the Savannah River, just beautiful sky conditions right now. Temperatures on the cooler side, though. We're looking at 50s area wide, so definitely need the jacket. You needed it pretty much for all today, or at least a sweater as we head towards tonight. Definitely recommend at least a moderate jacket for any outdoor plans. Speaking of outdoor plans, we do have the North Augusta tree lighting going on at Calhoun Park. Uh, in between 5 to 7, we'll see temperatures falling from the low 50s down to those low 40s and maybe even upper 30s for select spots. So so it's going to be a rather chilly evening quickly after that sun sets. So definitely go ahead and get ready for that and wear the appropriate clothing. As far as the frost and freeze forecast looking ahead, we do have the potential for a hard freeze tonight. Uh, then again for your Thursday uh, as we head towards Friday and the weekend, though our lows begin to moderate just a bit back towards those upper 40s and 50s. As far as low temperatures tonight, though, we're looking at widespread 20s across the board. Our more rural spots could possibly see some low 20s, but looking more like mid to upper 20s widespread across the area by tomorrow morning. We do have a freeze warning in effect just for a few of our southern counties only because they likely haven't seen freezing temperatures yet for this season. So if some farmers still have some crops, uh, the National Weather Service went ahead and put that out just for them. But we've already seen uh, freezing warnings here in Augusta and elsewhere. That's why there are no other freeze warnings in effect. As far as conditions for tomorrow, though, overall it's going to be a chilly day. Temperatures going to struggle to make it into the 50s. As we look at that hour by hour forecast for tomorrow, again, though, lots of sunshine. So it's going to be beautiful sky conditions just on the cooler side as we continue to move later into your Wednesday. We could see some cloud cover begin to move in from the west that could have an impact on low temperatures for tomorrow night. So depending on how much cloud cover we see, that'll ultimately determine how many of us do get sub freezing again for Thursday morning and later into the week. Those clouds actually turn into rainfall, possibly lasting through the weekend into your Monday. All right. Thanks, Mikhail.